This is the Russian Primary Chronicle. This was written and compiled by Nestor the Chronicler. This is the Laurasian text. These are the narratives of bygone years regarding the origin of the land of Rus, the first princes of Kiev, and from what source the land of Rus had its beginning. Let us accordingly begin this narrative. After the flood, the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth divided the earth among them. To the lot of Shem fell the Orient, and his share extended lengthwise as far as India, and breadthwise as far as Rhino Kurura, including Persia and Bactria, as well as Syria, Media, which lies beside the Euphrates River, Babylon, Gordina, Assyria, Mesopotamia, Arabia the Ancient, Elimaeus, India, Arabia the Mighty, Goal Assyria, Comagene, and all Phoenicia. To the lot of Ham fell the southern region, comprising Egypt, Ethiopia facing towards India, the other Ethiopia, out of which the red Ethiopian river flows to the eastward, the Thebaid, Libya as far as Cyrene, Marmaris, Sirtis, and other Libya, Numidia, Masiris, and Mauritania over against Cadiz. Among the regions of the Orient, Ham also received Cilicia, Pamphylia, Mysia, Lycaonia, Phrygia, Gamalia, Lycia, Caria, Lydia, the rest of Moesia, Troas, Aeolia, Bithynia, and ancient Phrygia. He likewise acquired the islands of Sardinia, Crete, and Cyprus, and the river Gihon, called the Nile. To the lot of Japheth fell the northern and the western sections, including Media, Albania, Armenia, both little and great, Cappadocia, Paphlagonia, Galatia, Colchis, Bosphorus, Maeotis, Dervis, Sarmatia, Taria, Scythia, Thrace, Macedonia, Dalmatia, Molossia, Thessaly, Locris, Palin, which is also called the Peloponnese, Arcadia, Epirus, Illyria, the Slavs, Lichnitis, and Adri Adriaca, from which the Adriatic Sea is named. He received also the islands of Britain, Sicily, Euboea, Rhodes, Chios, Lesbos, Cythera, Sacinthus, Cephalenia, Ithaca, and Corsira, as well as a portion of the land of Asia called Ionia, the river Tigris flowing between the Meds and Babylon, and the territory to the north extending as far as the Pontus and including the Danube, the Dniester, and the Carpathian Mountains which are called Hungarian, and thence even to the Dnieper. He likewise acquired dominion over other rivers, among them the Desna, the Pripets, the Dvina, the Volkov, and the Volga, which flow eastward into the portion of Shem. In the share of Japheth lies Rus, Chud, and all the Gentiles, Meria, Moroma, Ves, Mordva, Chud beyond the portages, Perm, Pechera, Yam, Ugra, Litva, Zemegola, Kors, Letkola, and Liv. The Lyaks, the Prussians, and Trud border on the Varangian Sea. The Varangians dwell on the shores of that same sea and extend to the eastward as far as the portion of Shem. They likewise live to the west beside the sea as far as the land of the English and the French. For the following nations also are a part of the race of Japheth. The Varangians, the Swedes, the Germans, the Normans, the Gotlanders, the Russes, the English, the Spaniards, the Italians, the Romans, the French, the Venetians, the Genoese, and so on. Their homes are situated in the northwest and adjoin the Hamitic tribes. Thus Shem, Ham, and Japheth divided the earth among them and after casting lots so that none might encroach upon his brother's share, they lived each in his appointed portion. There was but one spoken language, and as mankind multiplied throughout the earth, 
They planned, in the days of Yoktan and Peleg, to build a tower as high as heaven itself. Thus they gathered together in the plain of Shinar to build the tower in the city of Babylon round about it. But they wrought upon the tower for forty years, and it was unfinished. Then the Lord God descended to look upon the city and the tower, and said, This race is one, and their tongue is one. So the Lord confused the tongues, and after dividing the people into seventy-two races, he scattered them over the whole world. After the confusion of the tongues, God overthrew the tower with a great wind, and the ruins of it lies between Asur and Babylon. In height and in breadth it is 5,433 cubits, and the ruin was preserved for many years. After the destruction of the tower and the division of the nations, the sons of Shem occupied the eastern regions, and sons of Ham those of the south, and the sons of Japheth the western and the northern lands. Among these 72 nations, the Slavic race is derived from the line of Japheth, since they are the Norissians who are identical with the Slavs. Over a long period, the Slavs settled beside the Danube, where the Hungarian and Bulgarian lands now lie. From among the Slavs, parties scattered throughout the country and were known by appropriate names, according to the places where they settled. Thus, some came and settled by the river Morava and were named Moravians, while others were called Czechs. Among these same Slavs are included the White Croats, the Serbs, and the Corinthians. From when the Vlachs attacked the Danubian Slavs, settled amongst them, and did them violence, the latter came and made their homes by the Vistula, and were then called Liaks. Of these same Liaks, some were called Polyanians, some Lutichians, some Mazovians, and still others Pomorians. Certain Slavs settled also on the Dnieper and were likewise called Polyanians. Still others were, ca were called Derevlians because they lived in the forests. Some also lived between the Pripets and the Dvina and were known as Dregovicians. Other tribes resided along the Dvina and were called Polosians on account of a small stream called the Pelota which flows into the Dvina. It was from this same stream that they were called Pelosians. The Slavs also dwelt about Lake Ilmen, and were known there by their characteristic name. They built a city which they called Novgorod. Still, others had their homes along the Desna, the Sem, and the Sula, and were called Severians. Thus, the Slavic race was divided, and its language was known as Slavic. When the Polyanians lived by themselves among the hills, a trade route connected the Varangians with the Greeks. Starting from Greece, this route proceeds along the Dnieper, above which a portage leads to the Lovat. By following the Lovat, the great lake Ilmen is reached. The river Volkov flows out of this lake and enters the great lake Nevo. The mouth of this lake opens into the Varangian Sea. Over the sea goes the route to Rome, and on from Rome, overseas, to Zagrad. The Pontus, into which flows the river Dnieper, may be reached from that point. The Dnieper itself rises in the upland forest and flows southward. The Divina has its source in this same forest, but flows northward and empties into the Varangian Sea. The Volga rises in this same forest, but flows to the east and discharges through seventy mouths into the Caspian Sea. It is possible by this route to the eastward to reach the Bulgars and the Caspians, and thus attain the region of Shem. Along the Divina runs the route to the Varangians, whence one may reach Rome, and go from there to the race of Ham. But the Dnieper flows through various mouths into the Pontus. This sea, beside which taught St. Andrew, Peter's brother, is called the Russian Sea.